Sis guy, he a visionary. Known Savannah rapper is waiting to learn whether he'll be getting out of jail on bond. Quando Rondo is an accused gang member facing drug conspiracy charges. We want to go live now to WJCL 22 News' is Nakaya Carrero. She's in downtown Savannah at the Chatham County Courthouse. And Nakaya, what was the decision? Well, Riley, as of right now, the Savannah rapper Quando Rondo, whose real name is Taekwon Bowman, will not be walking out of a Chatham County jail. As the judge says, she wants to take her time reviewing both the defense and the state's arguments. Now, this is video of Quando walking into Judge Tammy Stokes' courtroom in cuffs. He faces four charges, including the... Uh, drug charges and the state says he was trying to buy marijuana that he could later sell himself. But the state also alleged that he is the leader of the Rolling 60s gang here in Savannah. The Rolling 60s are currently one of the largest and most violent street gangs in Savannah. And that man is the leader of them. The community, uh, my, my client is like a local hero. Born and raised here, done good, had a successful business. Your Honor. Now, Judge Stokes will consider both sides' arguments for and against the bond. She has yet to rule and no word yet on when that decision will be made. Riley? And Nakaya, both sides brought up the fact that the rapper did turn himself in. That's right, Riley. His attorney actually, you know, brought up if he was a flight risk, why would he have turned himself in a week ago? Now, the district attorney's office argued, well, he turned himself in because he had an active warrant for his arrest. Riley? All right, Nakaya, thanks so much for that report. Quando Rondo. Man, it looks over, don't it? Is he a threat to the community and property? Yes, Your Honor. The calls that we have show that Mr. Bowman, while at a movie with his daughter, made a phone call to other gang members, other Rolling 60 gang members, and said, there are 1,100 members up here, 1,100 is the opposition, and said, bring your guns here. His words, Your Honor, that is a danger to the community. When you have people coming to a movie theater bringing yeah, guns, Yes, ma'am. That is the language that's in the indictment. When they say, bring the guns, that's what he was saying. Bring guns to a movie theater because my opponents are here. That's a danger to the community, Your Honor. I got a question. Why aren't you charging with any of that? Hmm? Y'all charge him with telling people not to bring guns around him when they pick him up. That's what felons do. Like, hey, bro, y'all got any hot stuff going on? Don't bring that around me. It's not a crime to tell people don't bring guns around me. Y'all don't believe me. Take a look. We're not going to delve all the way into it, but it says conspiracy to violate the Georgia Controlled Substances Act. So that's count one. This is Quan Orano right here. He only has four counts. This is one count. Watch this one. Not to bore you all, but if you look at the bottom part where it says the purchase of marijuana from the supplier, that's his second count, illegal use of communication facility. Let's go on to one that's super interesting. The violation of Street Gang Terrorism and Prevention Act. And the jurors aforesaid in the name and of on the behalf of the citizens of the state of Georgia, further charge and accused Tyquane Terrell Bowman with the offense of violation of Street Gang Terrorism and Prevention Act for that the said Tyquane Terrell Bowman in the county of Chatham, the state of Georgia between the first day of October 22 and the 12th day of June 2023, the exact date of the offense being unknown to the grand jury, being in the position of management of the Rolling 60s of criminal street gang, did directly engage in criminal street gang activity by directing members to not carry firearms in vehicles in which he is an occupant of and directing members to provide him with firearms contrary to laws of the state of Georgia, the good order and peace and dignity thereof. Now, if you look once again at the bottom part of this stuff, all this is is him talking about buying pills. That's it. This is the fourth conspiracy. Everything else in here has nothing to do with Quando Rondo. But let's get on with it. I got something to say. So, 
Shout out to the family and shout out to AK-47, but I got something to say. Y'all been duped. Y'all been had. The thing is, is this, in that whole entire indictment, they ain't talked about the so-called hit on the 1100 gang. You want to know why? Because there was none. That was essentially him hitting them up, saying there's cats that's here. The ops is here, bro. And I'm by myself. I'm with my daughter. Essentially making sure that everybody's cool because no incident happened. How do I know? Because they didn't go any further. If they would have had a smoking gun, they would have charged him. If you just look at the whole entire thing, the only thing that he's really charged with has to deal with drugs. Instructing people to not bring guns around you is not a crime. Let's just be authentic with you. Now, all of that stuff could be beat as well, but that's on his lawyer to do. But I want y'all to check out these clips right here because I found them to be massively interesting. Because at the same time they said all this stuff, they start talking about how they spanked them in 2019 when they try to get a gang injunction or try to organize them as a as a gang. Watch this. In order for me to demonstrate why we think that's appropriate, I need to talk to you about what happened the last time the government accused my client of a gang terrorist violation. We're not going to object. I'm going to object. It has to. nothing to do with the elements of the bond hearing that we're here for today. He's trying to pollute the pool. Judge. The, the objection is sustained. Uh, Mr. Pine and Toto would give you a brief opportunity. Your Honor, everything that Mr. Stolf was talking about that presented what a risk my client posed for a bond is a part of the unproven allegations. I must state, they lofted a gang allegation against my client in 2019. Objection, Your Honor. It is not sustained. irrelevant because S it Sustained. We're going to stay away from that. Well, Judge, there is a credibility issue here. There may no, be an Your allegation. Honor. Judge, everybody stop. Yeah. Quando? gonna beat that gang enhancement, bro. Because they already spanked them before. They tried to bring it up two times. Y'all tried this before 2019. Y'all didn't win. Then they made their case. They tried to do the same thing, call them a gang leader. They said, hey, bro, y'all tried to prove this before. We spanked y'all again. So, now we go to the issue of him saying, he had no choice. He had no choice. He had to turn himself in. Yeah, that part is true with the exception of this. Let's understand something. He turned himself in within a day. He got all his affairs in order because, one, you're allowed to do that. You're allowed to do that. This is how lawyers all the time negotiate people turning themselves in days later after they have a warrant out for their arrest. So that way, you're already set up. Your bills are on auto pay. Your money is allocated this way. You sign over whatever you need to sign over, and then you go in. But I believe Quando Rondo is going to turn around and get a bond. Because look at this. A gang member. He's also a narcotics trafficker. He brings in marijuana. We know that. Objection, Your Honor. I'm going to object to the statement that he's a drug trafficker. That's not even an allegation. He distributes Sustain. narcotics. Be careful how you characterize. There has been an indictment returned. The indictment is not proof of anything. It states the allegations. And we are here to determine whether or not um, he's a risk. Um, yeah, jackass. Yeah, jackass. That means you can't say that. Because even though black people feel we guilty until proven innocent, your dumb ass still has to prove it in the court, not the court of public opinion. That's why she checked you. Y'all see them three black women? That boy will be getting a bond. Because this dummy sat up here and said all that and was like, let me see what I can get away with. There's going to be a lot of objections when the court case happens, because the thing is, is they don't really have nothing known cause. They're gonna, I can guarantee you the play that they gonna try to do is, hey bruh, 
We ain't no gang and stuff like that. Let's get rid of the whole entire gun case, which gets rid of him being a gang leader. Now, him telling other people to get drugs and all that, that still has to be proven. He even said he's a drug trafficker. Y'all didn't charge him with that. Y'all didn't charge him with a hit. Y'all didn't charge him with being a drug trafficker. Y'all didn't charge him with any violent crimes. So, you lose. Good day, sir. <laughs> and all you lames who think I hate Quando Rondo, no, I'm just unbiased. So, does this make me a Quando Rondo fan now? Jump out gang, 4K train? No. I'm just going to be fair, square, obvious, and honest. Quando Rondo should get a bond. Based on the arguments that that idiot made, he didn't make any strong cases against him. Basically, Quando Rondo lives in Savannah, been living in Savannah, spanked y'all 2019 when y'all levied a gang charge against him, y'all lost that. Then on top of that, you try to paint him out to be something that you have to prove. You can get indicted for damn near anything. So with that being said, they didn't even argue for an ankle monitor. So I would think once he gets bond, what's gonna happen is the state's gonna say, hey, 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 can we, can we, can we get that, can we get that ankle monitor? Which they probably will be giving to her because it seems to be that, um, that's the normalcy of it all. But his lawyer basically was like, nah, bro, it's gonna stop him from being able to move and it really does nothing. Now, the moment that my client violates him happened to show it, having it to show up then that's where we can get down with it. But until it stands, Peter Pan, ain't messing with it. But y'all, let me know y'all thoughts on this one. Did I make the case for Quando Rondo to get a bond? Or are y'all siding with the prosecution? Like, nah, bro, he's a gang leader and all that. Because you can be a gang member. You can't be a part of a criminal street gang organization. It doesn't matter what you call yourself. You can call yourself the killer kids or the kids killer. Doesn't matter. They have to prove that you're doing illegal stuff. So you could be Crip, Blood, GD, BD, Vice Lord, Stone, Mo, all of that. You could be anything. Nathaniel, Sarano, all of that. Tango Blast. Doesn't matter. They have to prove that you guys are doing illegal stuff. Because if that's the case, then the Boy Scouts of America is a criminal organization. And Girl Scouts of America is even worse because y'all overcharged me for them dry ass cookies. I'm about sick of y'all. And I can't say no. Can't say no. But anyways, that's neither here nor there, bro. Y'all let me know your thoughts on this one. Share to keep your people aware. Subscribe to the bell to stay notified. Bro, we only like 15 away from like, what, 138, I think? Yeah. But um, y'all check out the Clips channel. I'm about to upload some content on there from... Um, Marque I mean, Jaquees and uh, Hancho getting arrested. So I wanted to see if Quando Rondo was going to be worthy of getting a bond. I believe that his attorney made the case. Plus, you know, the judge is black, so she looked like somebody auntie. <laughs> More when it comes to the flight risk issue, within days of confirming that there was a warrant issue, my client turned himself into the Chatham County Detention Center. I had a conversation with Mr. Stolf on Thursday to conform, uh, confirm that there was a warrant. A day later, at 11.30, we're at the Chatham County Detention Center. There is no better evidence that my client doesn't pose a flight risk. He walked right into the lion's den. Nobody forced him. He did it voluntarily, Judge. Devil trying to pull me like a hamster. Finesse in the game with my pimp game. I'm ready to go like the bell rang. I put my faith in God like it ought to be. 